Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good. I got a question from a viewer and he asked Stephen, how do you deal with stress as a software developer? And I think in order to answer that question, we have to think about what's causing the stress. Well, in general, the career itself is stressful. Every day you do something new and sometimes you work hours longer than expected. Sometimes there's boundaries not set in place and there's more pressure. You know, pressure rolls down from the top. So you have to think about all these things and why you're feeling that pressure and how to deal with it. So one of the things is boundaries. At work, if you're in a good environment, your team will support you at the job I have right now, um, I told somebody one time that, hey, I'm going to stay up late. I'm going to complete this project. And they said, hey, you're not expected to. So that, you know, gave me some relief. Another thing besides boundaries is the skill level you're at. I always admit I'm still learning. I think everybody's learning in a way, but I'm not at that point where I want to be to where I'm really senior level. I'm, I'm, I'm junior, honestly, you know, and in some areas I'm mid. Um, it all depends, you know, on the company and the project. Where I work, we pair with each other, so not one person is expected to do everything. So you help each other out. You both have expertise and you complete the story. So... If your skill's not up to level, that's going to create that pressure. You're going to feel stressed out because after work, you're going to be tempted to build up your skills and it's going to take all your time. You might have one hour break or 30 minutes break because you're constantly going to be thinking about, man, are they going to keep me at my job? Am I good enough? And everybody has those thoughts and you have to learn how to quiet them. And I'll be honest with you, the first year when I worked at uh, rvngo.com, it was my first software developer job, it was very intimidating. Because there comes a point when you have to show your cards. You have to let your team know where you're at on your skill level. And you can't hide it. It's going to show. In other words, you have to show your stupid mistakes. Honestly, you have to not be afraid to show your mistakes because they're going to come up. So on the first job I had, the team lead, he said, Stephen, build me an API. And I knew what an API was, but there was no details. And without thinking, I said, well, what do you mean? <laughs> so... The uh, team lead just kind of sighed and went, just work on this project instead. So your skill level is going to show where exactly you're at, and you can't hide it. So you have to come to terms with that. And you know what? Say it's okay. Here's where I'm at. I'm going to improve, and it's going to take some time. But that first job you have, you're constantly going to be thinking. It's going to be turning in your mind all the time. It'll be hard to sleep at night sometimes because when you sign up for this job, you're constantly learning. It's not like retail where you, uh, you know, you're a cashier or even a manager. Now, managers, it's a little bit different because you kind of do take some of your work home with you, whether it be scheduling or or, uh, you know, planning the projects um, at the store. So there are expectations the higher level role you get in life. But as a software developer, you're constantly improving. You're constantly learning. So you don't want to burn yourself out. You want to work on code maybe like an hour a day after work. And after work, you don't want to go right to working on code. You want to give yourself a break, you know, do something different. So if your mind is working all day, 
you want to go do something physical, you know, completely opposite, and then maybe come back after you work out or something, come back to coding and learn like one concept at a time and build upon that. So I think if you set boundaries and you come to terms with where, where you're at on skills, you'll feel more comfortable on the job. And I think you'll perform better as well. Another area besides uh, those two areas is you take on too much. You become a yes person. And I don't mean, I don't want to say you're not supposed to volunteer or say yes all the time because, you know, you want to do your job and you want to do it well. But you have to say no sometimes with the right approach. Or you have to explain your reasoning why, hey, this might not be the best uh, epic or story right now to pursue. And here's the reasons why. Because if you let people tell you what you need to do all the time, they will tell you. Now, you want to respect authority and you want to work with your team but sometimes you might have information that they don't know about and you need to learn how to express yourself to your team so that you don't feel that pressure. And if you express yourself to your team, you can come up with, come up with a game plan and you know kind of iron out the wrinkles and make a plan. So maybe a project you thought would take one week, it actually turns out with more research on the code base, there has to be some refactoring or uh, something uh, set up completely different. It might take three weeks. So if you learn how to do research and communicate well, you can express that better and there's less pressure because it'll cause you to have a longer timeline if need. Another thing that causes stress is you don't give yourself enough padding. So when you point stories, you know, you might have a project manager and, and they'll say, hey, you know, what do y'all think? Here's the story. Here's the accepted criteria. What do you think this is? A point one, two, three, or you might have a t-shirt size. And you have to really think about and ask questions during that uh, story pointing time because if you don't you could miss some information and that'll cause pressure if there's a deadline so you always want to think of questions unforeseen things that could happen different use cases and then you won't be as stressed because you'll have enough padding so these are just some things that will cause you to just go with the flow and I, I know it's tough. It really is sometimes because, again, as a software developer, there's so much pressure because you're always learning. The expectations sometimes seem like they're getting higher and higher. But you have to take one day at a time, one story at a time, one line of code at a time, and it'll all fall in place. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. This is Coding Mountain Man.